For game two, Michael decided to take out four of his wolf skull shamans and replace them with four guttural responses. Christopher replaced four of his broken ambitions with four wraths of God. Christopher elected to go first again, keeping his opening hand of Vivid Creek, Reflecting Pool, Vivid Meadow, Cascade Bluffs, Volcanic Fallout, Esper Charm, and Mull Drifter. Michael kept his opening hand of Devoted Druid, Imperious Perfects, Landmore Elf, and Four Forests. Christopher played his Blue Vivid and passed, while Michael opened again with a Turn 1 Landmore Elf. Christopher played another Vivid and passed. Michael got off to another quick start by playing a Devoted Druid and a Heritage Druid on his second turn. Christopher played a Cascade Bluffs on his turn, giving him easy Fallout mana. When Michael drew and attempted to cast his Ren's Run Packmaster, Christopher responded with his Fallout and destroys Michael's three mana producers, as well as leaving him no elves to champion with his Packmaster. After a devastating 4 for 1 combo and putting both players at 18 life, Christopher merely played a Reflecting Pool and passed. Michael played another forest and cast his Imperious Perfect. Christopher attempted to play Esper Charm at Michael's end of turn step, but Michael decided to use his guttural response to counter it. Christopher played a fifth land and hard casted his Mall Drifter, drawing into an island and a cryptic command. Michael had run out of steam and was drawing only forests, so he made a token with his Imperious Perfect and passed. Christopher played another Vivid and attacked in the air with his Mall Drifter. Michael finally drew some help in the form of Elvish Promenade, so Michael decided to attack with his token, and in his second main face, he made another token with his perfect and casted the Promenade, which was countered by the Cryptic Command. Christopher also chose to bounce Michael's perfect. Christopher attacked for another two damage in the air with his Mall Drifter before passing. Michael drew yet another forest and recasted his perfect. He attacked with both of his tokens, but one was blocked by a flashed and plume veil. Christopher finally drew one of his win conditions in the form of Ethersworn Adjudicator, so he played it and attacked with his Maul Drifter, leaving two four fours to block. This left Michael without an attack, so he just made another token and passed. Christopher tapped three mana to use his Adjudicator's destroy ability, killing Michael's perfect. He then tapped another three mana to untap his Adjudicator. He attacked with the Mall Drifter and Adjudicator for 6. With one chance left to draw something spectacular, Michael drew another Elvish Promenade and doubled his amount of tokens, but without flying or the pump from the Imperious Perfect, it would be too little too late.